Welcome back to the adventures of Plaguey Minotaur, who was in seclusion yesterday, so we couldn't really do much. But now, luckily, the plague's ended. But we've got uh, we've got food poisoning instead. But we, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We got the, we got the successful treatment. So we're gonna let her out of hiding. We're gonna carry on with our slow conversion of the entire Byzantine Empire over to Hellenic for reasons I can't really explain. We're just really doing it for shits and giggles at this stage. So where did we get up to then? I think we got uh, started getting into our own territory, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. Right. So how many points did we build up during the plague? Oh, enough to do another like three provinces, almost four provinces. This will do. All right, so let's start. Do we really want to start preparing ground in our own domain? Because if we... Oh, we actually transferred us that shit. Because if we end up... If, if, if we want to do the Satanism play, the last thing we want is our realm to be converted over to this as well, right? So we want to cause chaos and destruction in the Byzantine Empire without causing chaos and destruction in our own realm. Because that way we can get the independence we need to potentially do the whole Satanism play if we ever get around to that or if we ever get to that ever at all. Right, so I'll start I'll start proselytizing on this side of the river then. And by river, I mean uh, the Aegean Sea. That'll do it. Is that all we've got for now? Man, this is so expensive to say that all we're doing is... I mean, and it costs the gold too. To be fair, I suppose we are flipping an entire realm to our... Uh, or our, our, the whole Byzantine Empire to a different religion in the literal click of a button. There's not much they can do to stop us. So, guess you've got to have some balance with that. There we go. There's the end of the food poisoning. Nice work. So, the other thing as well. I just want to check that all our kids still being educated because of the whole uh, being in seclusion thing. So, Princess Empusa, em Empusa of Greece is actually almost done. She's 15. Shit. Uh, the oh, my God. She's done in like a month. Well, let's just blitz through to it then. I was going to say... Uh, oh, my God. We got measles as well? Shit. What? Okay. Um, now that actually could be a problem. What's that? Like, minus two health. But we've got plus one from that and plus two from powerful. Don't bother. Just t as long as you know what you're doing. There we go. We're fine. We, we don't need to worry about a lot of diseases because of powerful. Now, what I was going to say before we were rudely interrupted there, let's just see if she's able to, uh, come out a decent character. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Charismatic negotiator. There's transfer becoming charitable. What'd she get? Trusting. Oh, that's bollocks. Okay. So she was going to be the, the chosen heir for the round. She's got incredibly good diplomacy, but terrible intrigue skill. Um, oh, I don't know if you're the one I want to pick now. We'll see how well the other two kids come out first. Now, what I was thinking is if, if she did come out particularly good, we could flip over to Agnatic Cognatic. If we go to the Royal Laws of... Oh, that was the Royal Laws of Greece, right? We could go for Agnatic Cognatic if we can get... I mean, what would we need? Like, uh, full status of women? Is it even possible to pass that at this stage? No, because we need higher tolerance. Um, which we can get, but it's certainly not going to be enough. We're only going to be able to put a slight dent in it, so I think we do still have to... Oh, shit. I think we're still going to have to put our eggs in the Titos tit basket. Um, we'll still be the educator, because we're obviously very good. We've got all those crazy, crazy good traits there, so we'll educate the boy. He's got conscientious brooding, which aren't bad. Obviously, haughty is shit, so I'm not too impressed about that one, but, but conscientious and brooding are both very, very good traits. He might not be too bad. It might not be too bad. Let's wait and see how he ends up. So, our ambitious then. Uh, why did we lose our ambition? Oh, because we were grim and an air. Right, right, okay. Is that all we've got left to pick now? Now, we're not far off. I'm going to say this and probably jinx it, but we're not far off of being able to forge a bloodline. We only need another 1,200 prestige. So, I'm going to go for a quiet title because I'm sure our, our... I think that increases the chance for the AI to actually just give you a title. We could also just ask him here. Chances are he'll say, no, yes, I truly know that the Blessed Virgin will reward you in time. Thank you very much, my friend. What if we charm him? Bear in mind, we have the, the powers of Venus on our side. What if we charm him and then try... I should have done that first, really. Why don't we charm him? We can also try and steal his artifact talent a minute. What else has he got? Um, Teleria. That's the uh, shoes of Mercury, right? The shoes of Mercury. The winged sandals of Mercury. I make it sound a little less impressive than that she is. Oh my god, he hasn't got the power of the Nemean Lion equipped. So we could try and steal that from him. Look, there's a chance that he can give him Brawny. Why has he not got that equipped? Oh my god, because he's got the Imperial Robes instead. He's just left the power of the Nemean Lion unattended. Now, it says there, may make the owner a brony if the... Uh, br brony? <laughs> may make the owner a brony. Oh, whoa, well, what's this? That's a nice pelty welty you have, will have there, daddy waddy. Let's try and steal that. And then we can become brony, and then we can equip it. Then we've got the power of the Nemean Lion, we've got the Necklace of Venus, and we've got the Shield of Achilles. Wait, no, the Armor of Achilles. We can wear that at the same time, right? Yeah, because it's a ceremonial ground. This is cool. We're going to be invincible with this. Who should be our accomplice in stealing from the man that we just tried to charm? Did that not work? Or maybe it did work, but he just... Wow, that worked. And he still has only plus four opinion of us. Um, send him a gift for 800 big ones. Absolutely not. We can offer to join his war. Yeah, that's a good idea. Even even if he loses, it makes no real fucking difference to us. Right, who should we have join us then? We could have Ophig. We could have uh, Hughes. Or, oh, man, they're both garbage, aren't they? What about my friend? They're all terrible. We'll take our marshal with us, because between our marshal and his marshal, we should be able to transfer these. That's basically what worked last time for us. Basilius is winning this war. That's good news that we're not on the losing side. Um, besides that, though, how are we looking? 19 opinion. Man, I wish I could do something else here. Could we give him an, an artifact, maybe? Um, 
We've inherited some weird stuff here. Hand of the Saint, Saint of Foot of the Saint. I didn't even realize we had those. We could send him like, um... We could send him the Celestial Necklace because we can't use that. And I give him 45 opinion. And he's our liege. I think that's a great idea. There we are, 64. So if he catches us, he might be a little less, uh... A, li a little less likely to cut off our head. Force away inside. Come on. Oh, nice. Okay. You managed to evade most patrols to keep up outside the treasury. So the power of the Nemean Lion in, 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 in mythology is supposedly like an impenetrable... I, th I think it's like an impenetrable uh, lion. Sounds weird to phrase it like that. And I think... What was it? Like skin it with its own teeth or something. I th does it sound the description? Killed by Hercules. Skin with its own claws. Right. There you go. Um, it, it is in also uh, Age of Mythology. If you've ever played Age of Mythology. You managed to evade most patrols. So you come up outside the treasury. Two board guards down between you and your prize. Let's... Oh, God. Rush them before they raise the alarm. Only a 63% chance of success. Granted, it is the pelt of the Nemean Lion, though. Come on. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, Quick out the window. 60% chance of escape. Fight our way out. There is a... What is that? Like a 69% chance of escape. Nice. But there's a chance of becoming maimed and severely injured. And we are stressed. And we have measles. If we get this, we may die. <sighs> Shit. Not only did we... Well, we didn't get maimed and we didn't die, but we are now in prison. Can I ransom myself out? Yes, because we are his, his dirty lover. There, we're free. Okay, that was risky. It was worth the risk because, again, it's the pelt of the Nemean Lion and it would make us borderline invincible, but that was a high price to pay for failure. 250 gold is quite a lot of the treasury gun. I suppose we could pick a new focus now. <gasps> Um, maybe theology, because we are, of course, possessed still by the Lord of Jesus Christ. Oh my god, we have zero diplomacy. Holy shit. Um, maybe we should go theology then. We could either go theology, or we could go for intrigue, because this this woman with uh, 29 intrigue would be actually unstoppable, I think. Plus, it would allow us to spy on people and free from captivity, and the people we keep chucking in the Basilius' prison when we try and hijack him. Okay, let's do it. I'm going I'm to do that, because we very rarely take the uh, the intrigue focus, and the, there are, of course, some limitations to that as well. Um, we have to have paranoid, deceitful, cynical, or, or... Oh my god, I forgot that we were actually an intricate web weaver as well. Very weird. Oh my god, we get a bunch of plot bonus. I don't remember half the mods I made to this game. I j they just they just passed me. I make so many. Alright, what are we going to go for then? Um, fabricate a clone on the Byzantine Empire. Nice. And actually might work. 259% possible plot power. I don't think we want the Byzantine Empire unless we plan on playing Hellenic given the amount of conversion we've done. There is a, a Satanist order inside inside the Hellenic faith, isn't there? We could worship Hades instead of Satan. I assume it's some sort of cult of Hades, right? Or some sort of cult of reverence to the underworld. Um, I actually don't know. I need to. I think I need to go and do some looking up for CK2. It's rare that I would do this, but I think I need to go and look up something about CK2. Okay, so this is cool. Unlike the sort of, to, to some extent, the Devil Worship Society, but definitely the cult of like Kali. If you're playing over in, uh, if you're playing over in India. We actually have the cult of Dionysius, or Bacchus, I assume is how you say it. B-A-C-C-H-U-S. Bacchus, Bacchus. Uh, but it's Dionysius, basically, which I'm sure a lot more people know him by. That is it's basically a cult of pleasure, you know. Uh, we have such sites to show you and all that. We could go for that instead. And, and you know, we, we apparently vehemently oppose people who, who are against uh, pleasures of the flesh and whatever else. Divulging into, you know, obviously hedonism and drunkardism. Drunkardism? Drunkardness, I think is the right word, ironically enough. And cannibalism. Which, given that we've got the Cannibal Kings mod that has mostly right now remained untouched. That sounds perfect for this playthrough. I will have to change some flavor text of certain events. But... This could be awesome. Now, not only that, it also does make sense for the sort of endgame goal of this campaign, which is, of course, those decisions that we've seen briefly before with our first character, which is to denounce all the other religions. It would make a lot of sense if we're doing that from the perspective of a of a guy who uh, wants these pleasures to exist in the world, right? If we're going for the cult of Dionysius and we, we're interested in drink and uh, and a lot of fuck... Then going against the Christian church and Islam and Judaism, whatever else, which of course in the Bible, some of that stuff kind of strictly forbidden. So in, in some of those holy scriptures is strictly forbidden. I think that could work out quite well for us. I think not only is it thematic, but I mean, we're basically going down that path anyway. So what, let me, this is a weird long-term play. We were Orthodox. We flipped over to Catholicism. Jesus is whispering to us now uh, to, to corrupt and obviously remove Orthodoxy from this realm because it is, of course, the false, the false side of the religion. We could then flip over to Hellenic so that we can become a devil worshiper in the uh, devil watch inverted commas in the hellenic byzantine empire what have i done this is so weird i'm in i'm in i'm in i'm 100 in i'm on board that's fine given the dynasty we've been playing as well a bunch of like uh the hedonist de debauchers debaucherers a bunch of hedonists i think is probably just the right word for it it's not bad 
This is not a bad play whatsoever. Um, and given that we are currently using the powers of Venus to fuck our way to success, I feel like it's even more appropriate right now. First things first, given that we are a devout Catholic, a, a devout Catholic inverted commas possessed by the spirit of our Lord Jesus, why don't we spy on the ecumenical patriarch just because that will allow us to keep an eye on him, uh, allow us to keep an eye on the head of the enemy faith uh, or, or branch of our faith, which of course we are not, which Jesus is whispering to us about. I think this is thematic, plus we can kind of find out some things. Now, I believe eventually we can try and, I don't think we can kidnap him, but we can spread false rooms and things, and of course, like, uprisings and shit. I've, I've so rarely used the intrigue, folks. That might be CK2 plus stuff, though, so so don't don't believe his lies. Um, oh god, I've asked haters why. You are, to be fair, Aztec, and also... Lack Gallus, like Letter Galleon? What? Okay, I don't know who that man is, but he's on board because he's a weird character. I like him. Let's stack our let's stack our accounts with the weirdest guys we can fire right now. Now, before we really progress on here, because it's just gonna be a lot of time ticking, waiting for our virtue to increase. Speaking of which, our virtue has increased. Um, if you're Abydos there. Uh, what about this one? Kizikos? No, we, we're good. Uh, we've done that one too. What about these islands that I'm almost certainly gonna forget? The islands of Lesbos. Let's prepare some ground on there. Before we get too stuck into just letting some time tick and really working on the whole uh, the whole hidden society stuff, why don't we? work on the Aztecs and the Chinese a little bit, get as many bonuses out of that as possible before we really blitz on. So, uh, we can send him off the Chinese sword. We, to be fair, we have that sword of heroes, which is much cooler. Holy shit, they give us 5,000 if we send him the Jian. Uh, uh, bear in mind the Jian you can get from China for 500. D done. Holy shit, absolutely full-blown done. Give me that Master Mason. Get into our court. Let's see what we can build up here. My god, that's insane. And then China as well. What have we got from China right now? So we always have a, we have a bunch of stuff with these guys too. Get a Scholar Bureaucrat. Scholar Bureaucrat, Master Mason. We already have the Chinese uh, Master Engineer. This is going to be crazy, crazy good for our capital. So what I'm going to do to make it easier for you guys and to also make it much easier for me to keep track as well, rather than having to click on every bloody province looking at the uh, looking at the modifiers here, I'm going to keep this, uh, this map updated in the other window just so that we can much more easily keep track and see sort of where we've put down the Hellenic communities because we've got a lot of them to worry about here and it's going to be very, very difficult to try and just remember them off the top of my head going forward. Um, so there, there are some we put down. Like we put some here. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll get a second color ready for, for provinces that are being converted but aren't converted yet. So we'll put like, um, oh god, that's barely any difference. Nice one, genius. So we'll say like, this one's being converted, this one's being converted, but obviously aren't ready yet. And then I think we've done uh, that one and of course the Aegean Islands as well. There we go. That's basically what we're looking at for right now. What, what we've got. So the Dark Bubble being things that are converting that we're going to have to obviously pay that upkeep cost on. And then the, uh, the, the, the Pinker more Neon provinces are the ones that we have already converted. So we'll sort of keep that updated as we go through here and as we change bits and pieces. It's going to take a very long time. If you want to get for the whole Byzantine Emperor, it's going to take a very long time. So actually what we might want to do is induct our heir into the order because the only way we'd lose all those Hellenic sites is if there's no one left in this society. So we could try and induct uh, our daughter, for example, into the society. If she joins... Then, and we die all of a sudden, you know, say the measles gets us or, or the stress gets us or something like that. Then she can continue our work. Um, well, more specifically, it means we won't lose all those societies. So as long as another character is capable of joining, it's not a big deal. Time these beautiful seeds will blossom. It's going to take so long, isn't it? My God. Um, so what can we do to our daughter? She's craven. She's trusting. She's kind. She's diligent. She's temperate. Um, hoping she can write. She's kind of... Let's go for that one. <gasps> We've actually done it. Oh my God. That's actually the first step. We might be able to get ourselves the successor here. Um... So how do we induct her into the Hellenic faith? What do we do with that? So we need to have 50 virtue, which apparently we don't have. Uh, to be fair, we did just spend... Yeah, we actually don't. Okay, fine. And then after that, what do we do? Um, oh, is that it? We just need 50 virtue, and then we can actually get her on board. Well, that's going to take about two seconds for that, then. Nice. Uh, induct her? Is that all it takes? Maybe she can say no after this. Uh... Oh, right, okay, so we actually we have to do sort of continue with the swaying a little bit there. Um, points of community, ethics and philosophy. Um... Which is kind, patient, diligent. A fair and mighty ruler. Um, I mean, I don't think the war. I think we can cross that out. Communi it's either community, maybe ethics, because she is kind and diligent and temperate. I'm not entirely sure. Fair and mighty ruler. I'm going to give her a community. She's a diplomat. Sorry? Basilia? Oh, god damn. The wife of my lover, the Basilius, who we bribed with our sexy ways when he was going to throw us in prison. Um, flatly deny, or I will kill the bitch. Yes, kill the bitch. Oh god, we got wounded. She was she was powerful. Uh, the spies are ordered to watch over Princess Infuser has brought me some disappointing news. They have not been able to read the legends. I suspect she's gotten rid of the holy text Jupiter. I have failed. Damn it. We need a successor so that we don't risk 
losing all of this work. Well, our air, at least, we can guarantee just. So I'm absolutely going to go for that. Because, I mean, we're not doing very well. Oh, God, it's another werewolf event. Oh, God, we've eaten a man. We've eaten a man. Strategist Sargon, the uninvolved. We've eaten him. And we happen to inherit his stuff. That was not a real murder. That was... That, that was an accident. That wasn't our fault. We don't get any cannibal or anything like that because, of course, he was, was, we were a wolf. We were a wolf and he was but a man. Shit. Okay, well, we've inherited some land then. Great. Uh, what what did we inherit out of interest? Oh, this province here. Um, okay. I mean, we can dish that out. That's not a problem. Should we convert it? We can't yet. Okay. Still, uh, then it's got to be a way to accelerate these points. Otherwise, this is actually going to take forever. Granted, you're not really supposed to do what we're doing with it. Um, my religion group. I should say, I mean, it doesn't really matter. As long as they're my culture, I don't give too much of a shit. There they are. Here, take it. Oh, he's away from Cobb. We'll, we'll invite him over because he's a good... Not only is he a good martial character, but he does also have Midas Touch, so he's a good steward as well. Oh, for God's sake. Jesus' whispers have become more and more frantic as of late. He's worried that Satan has corrupted his words through his agent at various ecumenical councils. He has asked me to seek out the good news that Philip bought so that I can understand the true role of Mary. I would do as the Lord commands we embrace the Fraticelli heresy. Fine. There we go. We are now Fraticelli. Fraticelli, or Little Brethren, is a Catholic heresy that originates with the Franciscan Order of Monks. It is devoted to poverty and asceticism, especially for men of the cloth. Fraticelli heretics are violently opposed to the church wealth of plagues and opulence. Catholic, uh, Catholic iconoclast, basically, right? Uh, great. So we like God, Jesus, uh, the Lord, and the Blessed Virgin. We don't like Satan, Lucifer, and the devil. We like the Bible. The religious head, the Papa, can be created by a special decision. I've actually never played Fraticelli. We can create a papacy if we feel like it. But this is going to... So we've gone from Catholic, Orthodox to Catholic, to Hellenic, to Fraticelli, to potentially Demon Worshipper. Good work. Oh, can we even... Oh, hang on. That might not work in hindsight, the whole Hellenic plan. Because we actually do have the Luciferian religion enabled as well. Uh, yeah, that would kind of defeat the point, huh? I might have to do some clever renaming. I don't know. I'll think about it. Because, again, like I said, we've already done a full Hellenic playthrough before. So, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens closer to the time. It would feel weird flipping over to an entirely new sect of religion. Um, oh man, it's, it's just everything's a mess at this stage. Well, this could be pretty ridiculous. Uh, so, you see all these people with artifacts. Bearing in mind, I've typed in artifact into the bar there. Uh, all of these people are up for joining our court, which uh, could be a little ridiculous if they all die in our court and happen to not have any heirs or relatives that can claim these artifacts. By which I mean, we're about to claim a shitload of artifacts. Look, some of these guys have rare artifacts as well, like this guy. What, what have you got that's rare? Heavy snow blade and a tapestry. I mean, this is fine. It's going to cost a fortune to probably uh, pay the upkeep on all of these artifacts. Obviously, when they die, we do have to say, oh yeah, I'll pay to keep that. Whatever it is. Obviously, we'll pick and choose depending on what the artifact is at the time. My god, this is insane. Look at the amount we can invite. Granted, we're going to have to pay an upkeep on all of them staying at our court because it will cost a fortune because we're inviting this many people. I wonder if we can invite them and then... It's a shame we didn't invite them all before the plague turned up. That would have been a good play. It took a while. That took a very, very long time. And I warn you now, there is a lot of people coming to our court. There is a lot of, a lot of horses as well, by the way. There is a lot of people willing to come to our court. This is kind of unreal, the amount of artifacts we're hopefully going to pick up from this. Holy shit. Um, was that the Basilius that just agreed to come to our What was that? Okay, uh, oh my god, I, I I might have gone a bit overboard this time. A little bit. I might have gone a bit overboard. Can we can we just mass burn our courtiers or something? Can we just imprison everybody in our court and then just light them up? Imagine the amount of our... It would be worth the tyranny for the amount of gear that we would get. Oh my god. Okay, we lost stress. Uh, that's, that's great. We lost stress, which is fine. We're back on the path to uh, good health. Uh, excuse me, I would like to resign as your commander, which I assume I am. Why, why are we leading troops? Retin we, we inherited a retinue from somewhere. I oh, probably that guy that died. I didn't even think about the fact that we could build ourselves a retinue. We could build cataphracts. Um, what are these? They're, I mean, some of them might even be cataphracts based on the uh, based on the troops there. I'm just gonna. I mean, do we even want to? Bear in mind the amount of money that these uh, secret societies are gonna cost us. We can't afford it anymore. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's build ourselves an army, a mighty Byzantine army. This guy turned up at our court and said, "It appears my services no longer needed, my liege. I should hereby give you the trade goods." Thank you. Oh, thank you, my friend. Oh, my God. We just found another exploit in the... Don't tell them I found this. I think they do watch some of my content, but don't... I've actually spoken with the dead before briefly on the uh, very old Game of Thrones series that I did. Don't... If you're watching, you didn't see anything. This didn't happen. We didn't get that money in the, those barrels of alcohol from those random people that turned up. You, you saw Abydos get to... There we go. Okay. Let me let me update that map in a second then. Oh, there we go. Abydos and Thessalonica. So so this one over here actually never did convert, but we've, we've got no option to add it there. Oh, it's because it's technically not our realm. Okay, maybe I just missed that one then. Oh, wow, a lot of our community is kicking in. We've got to wait for the Basilius to end his war. Oh, shit, that's like four more, right? Hey, there we go. Don't tell him, don't tell him this happened. Don't tell him this happened. They, we, you saw nothing. 
Too long now, I felt incomplete. The spirit was somehow lacking. Then the voice reminded me that the true fruit of the spirit was kindness. We now have... Oh, we could promise a... A pleasant evening with the... This man. Okay, he would be sending a lot of present hospitality he's received. Excellent, that's nice. Uh, Battle of Alcohol. My god, we made a fortune from inviting those people to court. They're going to pay for themselves if they're all trade masters. Do we have every single virtue now? Chaste, temperate, charitable, uh, diligent. There it is. We've got patient. We have kind. And we have humble. That's all seven virtues. What happens now? That's the real question. What happens next that we've got everything? My dearest liege, your penetrating gaze can part even the thickest theological fog. I am utterly convinced by your learned arguments. Rest assured, I will never stray again. Your grateful courtier, Glitterhoof. Thank you, Glitterhoof. Very cool. Well, welcome, by the way. They've all got horse armor, which is why they came up under the artifact thing. Thank you, Todd Howard. Um, <laughs> I wonder if we've inherited anything yet. I need to keep a good... Let's, let's go through the list very briefly. And then when I look through it again, all of you guys can point out, holy shit, you've inherited... We inherited a man's warehouse. We've never once joined the trade league. We've inherited someone's warehouse. Incredible stuff. Um, what have we picked up then? Uh, we, I mean, obviously the warehouse to start off with is pretty nice. We've got like linen cloaks, which isn't any use for us. Um, what have we got that we haven't got equipped? Also, what do you guys think? Oh my god, we've got another Gian after I sent the last one off to the Aztecs. What do you guys think about me editing or increasing the book limit? Because given that we've got five different mods that add each about 30 books... It's a little ridiculous to be limited to four still. Now, bear in mind, this will affect the AI. And bear in mind, the AI is probably a lot better, especially the Basilius is better at collecting books than me. Bear in mind... Oh, he actually doesn't have any. But I imagine in some of these large rounds like Francia, I mean, as long as they are a house that holds the title for long enough, they should inherit a lot of artifacts over a long period of time. What about, like, House Carling right now? Who's the current head of House Carling? Any idea? Oh, my God. Did they go extinct? What the fuck? Because that, that... Oh, I got seven living members somewhere. I'd be very interested to see who's got a lot. Let's check, like, I don't know, England out, for example. Um, nothing. You guys aren't really helping me prove my point here. Uh, Sweden? Sweden, do you have anything? A pile of lumber. Oh, for God's sake. Well, look, these these books are going somewhere, and they are going to get to the AI. Chance I will find some random AI character. Oh, like, Venice might be a good shout. Nope, nothing. Okay. I guess the AI aren't as good as collecting artifacts to me, by which I mean collecting courtiers, and then they're mysteriously dying. That's what we could do. We've got 157 members of our court. Mm, I didn't consider that they bring along their whole fucking brood with them. Okay. Um, like this, man. We could potentially take it. So we spy on them. We give them righteous imprisonment. We imprison them and then we banish them. Does that give them our, our stuff? I don't know how it works. We'll just wait and see. We'll just wait and see. They should, in theory, just die and give us their stuff anyway. She's trying to kill my prince. Your husband? Oh, I wonder if this is the seclusion event whereby two courtiers are forced to marry. Uh, in this case, it's our kinswoman to our sister. How strange. We've got some Thalmo and Louise shit going on. Uh, I wanted to actually imprison her, if you don't mind, rather than... Oh, this is why we need to turn off auto-stop plots. Fuck off. Right. Uh, call for my court position at once. He has... Oh, no. Mnemonic. Okay, call for my court position. He doesn't have mnemonic. He has pneumonia, but it's making him mnemonic. Please live. Severe honest. Successful treatment. Come on, you can do it. Live. It's minus four. He might not live. He might not live. Keep a very close eye on this, boy. Okay. I think he's fine. Yeah, he's good. Okay, so we've got proud and we've got just... We can give him ambitious and become his best rival. Of course, I'm going to do that. This kid's not coming out too well, but I, I mean, I've gone for stewardship for him because he has conscientious, because he's got 12 stewardship. So, it does kind of make the most sense. I didn't really want to play as a stewardship character. It doesn't really suit what we're doing in this whole series, but let's roll with it. Let's roll with it and see what happens. It's working. Look, people are dying. People are dying. We're inheriting stuff. We're inheriting weird stuff as well, like random people's heads. Light fur cloak. Uh, we've got Obsidian Axe, what, oh, Tengri's Favor, we picked up some horse armor, we got another Celestial, oh my god, we got a Jade Dragon. Holy shit, where the hell did we get that? National Tax Modifier, plus 10%, Diplomacy, plus 2, Monthly Prestige, plus 1. Arguably, funnily enough, one of the best artifacts from Jade Dragon. Wow, okay, um, yeah, this is working actually kind of too well. This is working too well, we've got Water Clock, so we're going to plus 2 learning. What is this treasury? Look at it, my god. Fertility plus 15%, learning plus 4, stewardship plus 4, diplomacy plus 4, injury plus 7, a marshal plus 1, which is kind of a surprise, own ch children opinion plus 20, sex appeal plus 35, and this is to say that we haven't got half of the mythological artifacts either. Um, excuse me, can I have that part of the Nemean line before they eventually aspire on him, before they eventually find out or realize that they can equip it? There we go. Oh, okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, right, so, 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 so uh, steal, 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 uh, spy on him, spy on him, charm him, okay, there we go. Uh, we need to, the second we can, rob this guy. Because if he gets brawny and equips that power with the Nemean line, we're missing out one of the best artifacts, I think, in the game right now. As if there's more people. As if the list is completely repopulated again. Unreal. Um, I mean, what have you guys got? It's all the trade masters. 
This is this is a big brain play. This is this is business right here. They're, they're setting these people up at Trade Masters. They're giving them money. They're starting the trading. But because there's a sexy lady on the other side of the planet, they're all rushing over to buy her bath water. This is actually what's happening right now. Because we have that sex appeal plus 35, all male characters in the world are just like, yeah, I'm up for it. Look at how look at the ratio of men to women on this list of people who want to join our court. This is actually unbelievable. I can't believe how well this works. Bear in mind, if there's someone with a particularly good artifact that we want, we just charm them. We just charm them, make them fall in love, invite them to court, and then they would suddenly fall down the stairs or something like that. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. My poor court expenses are going to be so fucking high. Maybe in that case, we might want to invest into court size a little bit. I forget which one it is. It's like, um, actually, I don't know. I'll double check in a second rather than guessing. Right, let's get all of these people over to start off with. Because we are getting some good artifacts out of this. It's not just like the, the broken weapons from, uh, from the uh, Orders of Chivalry. You know, even the trade goods, as, as m banal as that might be, is giving us a lot of gold. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Glitterhoof. The... Uh, Kvislis of Pinsk, uh, who I assume have, we're going to have a mountain of fucking horse armor as well. Well, good work. Well done. Well, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Ah, to the good poet. Well, thank you. To the glorious Despuina. Ah, to the nice mystic. To the frugal mystic. To the magnificent. To the heroic. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. 193. 193, by the way. 193 courtiers. Holy shit. Uh, it's only listing the last few. What the? Have I broken the game? Ah, oh, there we go. That's a bit better. My god, look at the mix of people. I love how many horses are on court. That's so good. We've got a fucking stables worth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 horses. Brilliant. This is, uh, this is a 10 out of 10 series right there. The mad woman possessed by Jesus invites a thousand horses to her court. Incredible. Disappointing. Actually disappointing that the young titles came out a thrifty clerk. Oh, that's good. Well done. Gain zealous. Fuck it. We'll give him that at least. Well, we're going out for some more werewolfing. Caravan destroyed. We, we inherited someone's tra car caravan, which we're now uh, selling off to someone. Ah, full moon fever. Now, what can we do with this guy? Vote sympathy for pagans. Yes. Vote the sympathy. Ah. Uh, go to any lengths. Uh, cares enough about me. I mean, we could give him some gold. We could give him an honorary title. See, maybe if we can convince him over. Charm him. Fall in love with our own son. Why not? This is weird. We've gone to we've gone to weird we've gone to weird town. We're going to weird town. Population. This woman and her son together alone in in a secluded place. Give him an artifact. Why not? We might as well give away some of these ridiculous amount of artifacts we're inheriting. How about how about a lovely Jian? Um, I was kind of hoping he could get the forty opinion before. Okay, fine. Go on then. Come on, take the sword. Take the sword. <gasps> yes, there we go. Nice and nice. That actually might have worked. Okay, induct him. Come on. Come on. Tell about a legendary warrior. I don't think he'd be up for that. Uh, ethics of fair and mighty ruler. Yeah, he'd be definitely been up for that. He's just. He's just proud and ambitious. Do it. <gasps> We've actually fucking done it. Oh my god, he's in. Holy shit. Our heir and successor, if we were to die suddenly now, can continue on with our glorious work. It might be our next character that does it, but my god, it is actually possible to do it. Holy shit, this is insane. I have no idea how we pulled it off. Well, I mean, we, we fucked him. I think that's the, that's the underlying things here. We fucked our son to get him to join up Hellenic society. Thanks, Zeus. Very cool. But before we go off to the next theft of the Pelt of the Nemean Lion there, let's take a look at the map and how it's sort of kicking along right now. So we've got most of the central Byzantine Empire. We've got some random other provinces that we picked up here and there. I'd love to go across the river to Nicomedia, that side of the Byzantine Empire, a little bit more. I'm going to avoid going for our own realm for the most part. So most of South Greece is obviously ours. So we're going to kind of keep that on most of Greece proper, I should say, is ours. So we're going to we're going to avoid taking that. But everything on the other side of the river, we're going to start going for next and, and take all of that side. This is going to be weird. This is going to be weird. Just just clicking our fingers and seeing the whole of Byzantine Empire flipping over to Hellenic. I think we're going to... We're setting the realm up for just pure fucking chaos at this stage, let's be honest. Who do you want to take with us? Our marshal is kind of crappy. Our strategista, kind of crappy. Our lover, who is also our son. Um... I mean, oh, did that just cancel the event? That was weird. Okay, I thought I clicked. Oh, no, apparently we're going. What happened? What what I do, though? Steal, steal artifact? What happened? Not already trying to... Oh, I guess we went with our son, then. Okay, never mind. Convince him to let us in. We can force away inside. A 72% chance of success. Please do it. Leave me a line and all that. Fuck off. For fuck's sake. You motherfucker, run away. Run away. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, never mind then. I think that will be. Uh, I think that'll be tomorrow's goal. Grab some more of these. I want to find out what, also what happened to the trident of Neptune. Because I feel like I haven't seen that kicking around for about four hundred years. Um, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. 
What the fuck is this game doing? Good God. Right. Trident of... If I just type in Neptune, I can't imagine there are too many Neptunian things kicking around, is there? Uh, Timotheus, the Tormach of... Tor Tormaches? Tor Tormache of Sinope has the Trident of Neptune and the Armor of Achilles. My God. Okay. Wait. I thought we had the Armor of Achilles. Oh my God. Did someone steal our Armor of Achilles? <gasps> well, how did we lose that? Was it when we were put in prison? I didn't even notice. You fucker. Wait, do we try and steal from this guy? Any okay, charming. Do we try and steal with this guy? Oh my god, rival and lover. Oh, almost certainly. And he took our armor. I feel like this is something I should have already remembered. Um, wow. Prison him, maybe. Just imprison him. Spy on him. This is the perfect guy to be spying on. Okay, okay. Mark him such an address. Spy on him, and then because he's our vassal, revoke his title, destroy him. I mean, family members he's got left. Seventeen. Oh fuck. Okay, that could be difficult, but we might be able to trick him in prison and take his stuff. Thank you all for watching. Another weird episode in the adventures of this strange, weird dynasty in this strange, weird series. Thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been uh, it has been a very, very strange time. Big shout out to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Gawley, Suna Kurita, Matt Moses, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolan of Gondolin, Fukuna Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolas, Sarik, James Shea, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Michael Muller, My Name Isn't Dio, Muskratful, Nat Buskis 911, Necrophilin, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Smegma Stain, Brilliant. Somnus, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McLam, Vacuous Backers, Void Prince Akibo, William Green, and Zazzy711. Can you tell I bit my tongue five seconds ago? It really fucking hurts, and now I can't talk. Thank you all for your support, the entire team lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. Big shout out to these guys. And... A thank you as well. I need to go out to Uwu Daddy, Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Saylor, Baldoom, Ben Troke, Brian Gunn, Betamus Max, Better Valorum, Black Double H, Chris, Cor Corgi Circus, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Dunk Honey 2 and 7, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Gaz, Genji Turkey, Gothamo, Gray, Haji Demar, Icarus, Icy the Grey, Ida C, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeFries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nostrus, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 137, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Shari, Smirtworm, Smooth, Octopus, Soycrates, Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Volon Crew, Varagon, Voodoo Mother, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yorkers, Zach, and Zico 2. Thank you all for your support. This this is weird. This this whole this whole series has gone off the rails.